Welcome to Rage, you nerds. I'm Mr. Cack, and this is a Rage Report. <laughs> Now, you might be asking yourself, what's a Rage Report? It's going to be a very infrequent thing that just pops up whenever news happens to pop up. And now that the writer strike and the actor strike is over, we're probably going to get a little bit more news coming from the nerdy front. That will either elicit rage, or at least the notion of talking about things that are happening. And today, I was laying in my bed, being very lazy, and then something happened. Actually, two things happened. The first was that Fortnite's live event popped off featuring Eminem in a concert, and a couple of allusions to the gameplay that's going to be happening in the next version of Fortnite. Additionally, Fallout has dropped a tr teaser trailer for their upcoming series. So what I want to do today in this Rage Report is talk a little bit briefly about the Fortnite Live event, and then transition to giving you my first reaction to watching the teaser trailer for Fallout. So first we have Fortnite. The Fortnite Live event has been hyped up for a while. It has started with the creation of the OG map and OG game styles coming back. Essentially, Fortnite for the last two weeks-ish have went through the process of replaying the old versions of the map as it's evolved over the years, while also changing the loot cycle to match that, and a couple of other changes that were both retroactively changing to something that was in the past, while also maintaining some leisure pleasures of the future. People really like OG Fortnite. I'm glad it popped off. The big kicker here, though, was that there was an event being hinted at with the Big Bang. Also, Eminem. And as a young white dude looking like Fred Durst right now with my hat on backwards, as, as a young poser white kid from, you know, that grew up in the 90s and early 2000s, uh, Eminem was the shit. And so it's it's exciting to see that Eminem has found like this rebirth cycle. It's also fascinating to realize as much as anyone wants to crap on Fortnite, Fortnite is the most adaptive thing in existence. I don't even know how to quantify it. It's a video game, sure, but it now incorporates all of these different aspects of while it's not live, I mean, the, the thing that's happening is live, but Eminem's not singing live. But the fact that you have these concert moments or these crossover moments that transcend just the video game itself is amazing. I mean, you are not only introducing, because Eminem is a big draw, but Eminem is a big draw for old people like me. I, I mean, it's been a couple years since he did Rap God, which, you know, blew me away but I was also loving like Superman and some of his older stuff too but now you have this new generation that are like who is this guy that's talking gibberish really fast kind of like it it kind of slaps it's a banger and other colloquial words <laughs> that young people use um so yeah like that's awesome uh, the flip side of that is that you're now luring in some old people like me that are like, you know what, I'm actually genuinely interested to see what Eminem is going to do in this and like how he's going to be uh, involved in it. But the bigger thing for me is kind of what is being implied here, that Fortnite has these different universes. And within these universes, it's not the same thing over and over again, which clearly seems to be that Fortnite is marketing what the next evolution of Fortnite will be. Fortnite won't just be Heroes of the Storm and a BR that are in open beta, <laughs> I think, still, <laughs> like a decade later. But now you will have the BR experience. You will have this Lego kind of Minecraft pseudo sandbox MMO experience. I imagine it'll either play out like an RPG or... Or it'll be very much just like Minecraft where it's a completely open sandbox with little creatures and things and you just go and do whatever you want in it. Build things, don't build things, get into little troubles. Probably has like little instances that you can get into which is why it gave me more of an RPG feel. Seeing them kind of crafting, seeing them fighting the little crabs on the beach and then that weird dragon ogre monster thing attacking a castle. All of that gave me very... MMO RPG type vibes. Uh, sure, it won't be massive. Sure, it'll be still server locked to some capacity, and that's all fine. It's just something new and interesting. And then you go to another universe and you have race cars. Essentially, Fortnite sat back and said, What do people like? They like racing, they like Minecraft, they like BR. Well, we've got BR. Let's incorporate the other two. And, and as a kicker, we'll just throw in a universe that will every now and then host. Uh, music or some kind of cultural crossover event. 
Fortnite, again, is one of the most adaptive things I have ever seen. Every time someone pronounces its death, it outlives its death. Uh, if I could break this down into analogy for older nerds, it's Palpatine. <laughs> it's, you, you expect that it's dead. No, it's back. <laughs> and it's, you know, it's doing its thing. Um, but unlike Palps, where we didn't really like him in the sequel trilogy popping up, uh, Fortnite continues to find ways to keep engaging people. And when it feels like, well, maybe what we're doing isn't working, they pull out of their back pocket, well, hey, what if we go back to the old way? And then they do that, and now you're going to have where in 2024 they'll bring back OG Fortnite as a playable, I assume, universe. I assume the loading screen will look like how it did at the end of the event with these different little pocket things, which is also a very cute uh, tie-in to building into what Loki had did recently what Loki has done recently in season two. But you have Fortnite really probably mastering the multiverse better than any media format right now. But yeah, what you'll have is if you have Fortnite, you'll have this opportunity to play essentially four different games at once if you wanted to. And that's not even counting things like their other open sandbox with the creatives where people are making games within a games where it's base where it's basically I mean, it just feels like Fortnite is doing what what Minecraft may have started out doing or Roblox has been doing and doing it better because it looks better. Now, I could be entirely wrong because I am not the biggest fan of Roblox or Minecraft. Both of both of those games are a little bit younger in scale for where I'm at, and I didn't kind of grow up with them, so I don't have as much of an affinity for them. But from my outside looking in, it looks like Fortnite's about to one-up them and may have already won. But I'm excited. What are you excited about when it comes to the Fortnite Live event? Let me know down in the comments as we transition to a teaser trailer. All right. So for those of you that don't know, another video game type thing that's happening is uh, we're getting a series based on Fallout, the video games. I think I read somewhere where this isn't going to one-to-one -one accurately adapt any specific Fallout game, but it's taking the themes and the overall story of Fallout and is going to make it into this live-action adaptation, which I don't think is a bad call to make. I think that's a, honestly a really good thing because I do I don't know or care enough about any of the Fallout stories to be upset or hurt that something's missing. So for me, I need you to find a way to engage me. And if that is finding a story that looks cool, let's do it. So let's let's see what they've got up their sleeves. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so we get the vault. Vault 33, it looks like. I know that I've lived... The classic blue outfit, and you see the survival gear. Like it. Liking it. Getting locked up in a vault. Okay, so, so far this is, if you played the games, you fill in. Okay, I know what's happening. Oh, she's leaving a vault. Okay. So she was... Oh, big creepy roach. Nice. <laughs> Watch out for that tumbleweed. Which, if you've lived in a vault all your life, yeah, that probably is scary. If you insist on staying, then you the guy from The Lost. Nice. Oh my God. I'm already, I'm already loving that it's by the studio behind the boys, which could be misleading. Looks good so far. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh, vault dwellers. Uh oh. Someone may have some madness happening. Alright. Good mutants. That man ain't got no pants. He's got one eye. <laughs> Please remain calm. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, mutant bear, nice. Uh, fingers. Okay, so this is this is showing what led to the need for vaults in the first place. A little nuclear destruction. A little Oppenheimer. This looks like a trip. This looks <laughs> this looks nutty. And, okay, listen. 
Prime Video has a bit of a, a bit of a touch and go with their content, right? Like where they have the boys, and people really love that. You also have the Lord of the Rings thing, and you know, people didn't really love that. Uh, so with this, I think if you play it more towards the boys without having to copy the boys or have to go as far as the boys, even though it seems like there is plenty of open doors for it to be just as ludicrous. I think you got a recipe for really cool storytelling right here. I don't think enough of the general mass audience that would be watching this on stream have any idea about the Fallout games themselves. So what you've now presented is a very interesting intrigue here. Like, I, I am genuinely curious to see what this world is and the people in it. I think it's also from a gaming perspective, this looks like... Uh, this gives me the impression that we could have done a Borderlands live action. It's just they're taking too long to make it because this this looks good borderlands should be a series too a live action series this right here gives you a lot of what you could and should and how it could look uh additionally especially with the the suits and the um the the aircraft both of those look so much better than what we got in the halo series and again i just think this is a reminder that that was a property that was squandered. A studio didn't treat it right and then gave us what it gave us. This this looks like it's going to be pretty good. Now, I think it helps because where Halo had a very fixed story and, and people were obsessed with that. And so if you did anything outside of that, people would be angry. And they were. Uh, with Fallout, I feel like you have a lot more to play around with because the stories kind of jump around depending on which vault and which year things are happening in. So... I think they do have a little bit more carte blanche than what Halo had or maybe any other series has just the way that Fallout is structured. But I'm excited for this. This looks good. It looks like it's going to be goofy, bloody, gory, weird. And I'm I've got a I've got a sweet tooth for some weird. But what about you? What do you think? We've now watched the trailer. We've now discussed Fortnite Live. Let me know your comments for both down below. Like the video, subscribe, continue to keep up with this nerd and the other nerdy content that we have out. Uh, I'll try to do more of these rage reports as things continue to matriculate out. Have a good one. Be good. I'm Mr. Cack. Love you.